Hey, if you turn it around, there's a guy on the back. <laughs> it was a practice. It was a practice and he didn't turn out. <laughs> so I turned it over and I painted the Oxford. <laughs> you never know when you're going to come up with a good painting. <laughs> you should be more careful. <laughs> Now, the thing about this Oxford place is it's famous for its ghosts. <laughs> There's the ghosts on the back. One of them looks just kind of like this. So if you put it up to the window, you can see the cookies. <laughs> Good morning, Earthlings. The kind of painting that I'm teaching you is wasting an awful lot of paper. Or is it? Well, once you paint on one side, if it doesn't turn out, turn it over, paint the other side. Well, what if that didn't turn out either? Well, I put together some really old footage to show you some of the things that I do to recycle my watercolor paper. So I found this calligraphy pen. I'm not a calligrapher by any stretch of the imagination. I could, but I'm not really going to do that. I feel the pain and stay under here. So, times. Good morning, Earthlings. I'm just sitting here with my cat, Jones. And I found a recipe on the internet. <laughs> and I wanted to write it down. Well, I'm old school. You write a recipe on an index card. And I said, Jones, I don't have it. I don't have an index card. And he looks around all these spent watercolor pieces and he says, what are you talking about? Okay. <laughs> He's so smart. Boom. It had a tab on it. <laughs> I want to thank Jones for this contribution to this tip. Just use your spent watercolors and make recipe cards. Jones has good ideas. He pretends like he doesn't care a bit, but he's listening and he's he's always like and then he'll like, humans are so stupid. <laughs> I've got this picture and I've got a mat. <laughs> I've always finding mats and stuff, but I didn't have a back piece. If I hang this up, it, it'll it show through. So this pi picture already has, uh, it's already from this. I'm just gonna put this on the back and cut it to the back. I like the way it looks matted up. I'm going to put the plastic on this and then I'm going to go put it out in my living room because I need some pictures on my living room wall. <laughs> what? Uh, yeah, I know I don't have a living room wall, but I'm going to try to make one by putting pictures up. <laughs> we need the wall and then the pictures. Then we have the pictures, then we'll get the wall. <laughs> the funny part about using spent watercolor paper for the back of your pictures is I got this funny face on the back of this picture. <laughs> if I went to sell this and they turned it over, they'd see this funny face. <laughs> I probably won't sell it this way. <laughs> That's funny though, right? <laughs> Another thing you can do with your spent watercolor paper is you can line your drawers with it. I just moved into this new place and I'm going to use this frog in this drawer, just to cover up the bottom. Every time I open up this drawer, I'll see this funny frog. <laughs> what do you think of that? <laughs> this one has a photographer guy in it. <laughs> yep. Remember I was showing you this picture? I would really want to show you this picture. This is the epitome of recycling your paper. I drew her and I didn't like it, so I drew the elephant on her face. And then I turned it into a funny poster for a coffee shop. It says, can't make up my mind, eh? Are you missing something? 
come in right away, put your feet up and let us pamper you. That's what it says. So I took a disaster and turned it into another disaster and I turned it into a poster. That really turned out really cute. I thought, another way to use your spent watercolor paper, say I have a picture and it didn't turn out, you can use it as a poster. <laughs> But this didn't turn out either, so I'm going to use it as wallpaper. <laughs> wallpaper? Yeah, I'm just going to glue it on the wall. <laughs> right there. What I'm going to do with the rest of this paper is use it for practice paper or I know I could put a, make a bookmark out of it. I never throw away paper. And I'm not a hoarder with paper. I just find really great things to do with it. You know what I'd do? Is I'd paint something really pretty on it because it's got this really neat edge on the bottom. I'd paint something pretty on that and give it to my friend for some kind of gift. <laughs> gift. <laughs> That's what I'd do. My rabbi wrote this book, <laughs> but I need a bookmark, so that's what it looks like. It was part of a bigger picture. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it. Huh, that's a bookmark. I can put that in my book. <laughs> okay, Dan's over here looking at my stuff. Well, okay, so this is an old piece, but look. Yeah, it is. All right. Cause see, what I would use, what I need is like this piece right here. Mm -hmm. I, I need, I need this piece right here. But what would really be cool is I could, you know, you cut into a little bit around that, and then that kind of goes with somebody, and they get a bonus picture in the back by writing here. They can flip it over and have that picture on the back. What should I do with that? That's going to be really fun. Okay. My spiritual art, and. Um, <laughs> For positive ripple art. Ooh, that's really heavy paper. That's really cool. I like that a lot. Oh, that'd be cool, wouldn't it? So I'm doing some neat fun stuff. Look at that piece. Gee whiz. I think I might have showed you ways to look at watercolor paper differently. Maybe you can find some ways to recycle your spent watercolor paper. Until later. <laughs> I hope you find your yacht. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to work. <laughs>